good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog and happy Thanksgiving. Today I am going to start the day off with trying to feed Ivy, my anaconda, a pig as a celebratory thing for Thanksgiving, you know what I mean? We'll try to feed a few of the other animals including Lucy a pig too, so uh, we got a big meal going. I'm a little bit nervous but let's just go ahead and jump in and hope it works out. Oh, yeah! Woo! She definitely grabbed that pig! Now that's gonna be an extremely big meal for her, but the fact is is that the guy that we got Ivy from said that he was feeding 12 to 15 pound rabbits, which uh, by the way, I'm not sure where he was finding 12 to 15 pound rabbits. Must've been around Chernobyl or something like that. But regardless, big meals, anacondas eat really large meals. It's really common for them to eat like capybara in the wild that can be 30, 40 pounds. So yes, this is gonna be a big meal for Ivy, but she is absolutely loving it. What a great way to start out Thanksgiving. So, whew, all right, we'll go ahead, sit on her and uh, Hopefully things go well. Lucy, ready, girl? You want some? You want it? You want it? Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. So Lucy ended up not taking the pig. I'm not exactly sure why. She seemed like she was interested and then she kind of went away, struck a couple times, left it alone. Every now and then she'll go up and actually go and eat it off the ground. So I'm just gonna leave her alone and we'll check back on her. Uh, we have some other snakes to feed anyway. So uh, let's just keep this holiday Thanksgiving feast going. Pretty exciting that Ivy took that pig and uh, tell you what, it wasn't that easy to just come along pigs, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm gonna take you guys along on that journey. I barked on a journey down to Indianapolis which is gonna take us about five and a half hours. Hours. Drove through Ohio. Boring as heck. Got gas in the freezing cold. Found my new walking stick. Got a huge kiss. The largest Snickers. Got a really dope new hat. Picked up some beef jerky. Waited in line. Awkwardly, fared the coal again to get back on the road. So I guess uh, now I'm gonna go pig shopping. Uh, these are actually all just little pigs that are in bags, which are really nice. And we're just looking for some little bigger ones so that there's some tasty morsels for Lucy and Ivy. We'll see what we've got. We'll definitely feed some smaller ones off as well, but hopefully we can find some bigger ones in here. Uh, it should be pretty cool. Turned out it wasn't 12 pound pigs, but it was 12 pounds of pigs. Went to Chick-fil-A and I met Angel and headed home. And with all that conflict of trying to get my pigs, I didn't know if it was even gonna work out. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, so we have to feed today. Obviously edit the video and have it uploaded and stuff like that, which you'll be watching it tomorrow, which is today. I know it's confusing regardless. Had to call in a favor, got some pigs shipped to me. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna happen, but nevertheless got the pigs in. And, and here they are. Woo! I've been thinking about this for weeks, guys, but uh, as you can see, frozen solid. So I'm gonna have to get these guys thawed as quickly as I can so we can still feed today. So Ivy has been uh, looking around for the last probably half hour, the best way to actually get the nose to eat the actual pig. And uh, this kind of feels a lot like last year when I stuck around for 15 hours with Lucy eating a turkey. And uh, things didn't work out that well in the sense that Lucy didn't eat it. But I'm a lot more optimistic about Ivy because again, they love pigs. They love big prey items. So uh, just an exercise in patience. Let's hope this Thanksgiving video isn't going to turn into a 15-hour marathon like last year. You know what else I'm thankful for is all the support you guys give us. I mean, on everything, including BHB. And guess what? Tomorrow, we have a Black Friday sale. So tonight, at midnight, all the way till Friday night, Saturday morning, midnight, everything on the site is up to 50% off. So if you're ever thinking about adding a reptile, tomorrow is probably that day. BHBreptiles.com, again, up to 50% off everything in our inventory. Not sure if Casper is gonna want a little Thanksgiving feast or not, to be totally honest with you. He's a little bit picky when it comes to what he's gonna actually eat. Sometimes he'll even refuse a rabbit, but I'm gonna see what I can do here. Asper, you want some food? Come here, bud. Wanna try? Come on, buddy. No, I think he's freaked out by it. Come on. Nope, oh, he got it, he got it. He got the pig, he got the pig. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I tell you what, that's gonna be a good meal, a good Thanksgiving for Casper. Absolutely incredible. Didn't know if he wanted it at first, but uh, he ended up taking it. Again, that'll put a lot of weight on him. Definitely a Thanksgiving feast for my boy, Casper. Eric, tell me your ideal, like the perfect Thanksgiving, what would it be? Do perfect Thanksgiving, there's a lazy boy. The food's ready, and there's plenty of soda pops, okay? That's it, nice That's it. fire. Right, do you get out of the Lazy Boy for the food or someone feeds you? No, we have to go up, you know, you say your grace. You have to get out of the Lazy Boy, but you know, you're with family, you're with friends, you eat your good food, take a nap. That turkey puts me into a coma. Yeah, so okay. I mean, like, maybe what if Mary, like, fed you? Like, no, I like to I like to eat my own food. She won't give me food. big enough pieces, okay. Okay? okay? She already tried to cut up my steak once. I didn't like it. Okay. These little chunks, the big pieces of meat. I like to almost choke. 
but I'm very thankful for everyone. Have a great Thanksgiving. Pretty sure Butterscotch is ready to go. She's never had a pig, but she is hungry. Woo! Come on, girl. Come on. Whoa! Come on, girl. Come on. You ready? You ready? Oh, there she is! She grabbed the pig! I tell you what, now I'm thankful for having an amazing steak like Butterscotch for sure. Girl, you're gonna get a good piece for Thanksgiving. Oh my God, that is adrenaline filled every time when she strikes out at you like that. Whew, get your heart rate up, but I tell you, what an amazing snake. Oh my gosh, she got the head. She finally found it after looking around for about 45 minutes. She has definitely got the head. Now let's hope she goes and eats the whole thing. How exciting. As you can see, Ivy is really going to town on that pig, you know? I don't know why, I just get like a little nervous when I see an animal eating a large meal like this. But again, anacondas are known for this. This is gonna be good. This is how she's gonna put lots of size on it. She loves that. I'm so excited. Uh, I tell you what, I cannot wait to see how much growth she gets on this one meal. But uh, she's making pretty quick work of it. Unlike Lucy last year that took literally 15 hours, just in the last 20 minutes or so, she's about a quarter of the way done. and she's getting close to the thickest part of the pig itself. Once she gets to that part, it should go pretty good, but oh, oh my God, that's stressing me out a little bit, but she should be good. Come on, girl, I know you can do it. it's Thanksgiving, it's that time of the year where we have to start thinking about Christmas. I'm gonna ask everyone what they want for their present for this Christmas. So Noah, what do you want for Christmas? Um, probably like... I would like merch from BarCheckBoys.com. Please get me salt and pepper merch from BarCheckBoys.com. Eric, what do you want for Christmas? Dude, it's really hard, I don't know, maybe like uh... Merch from BarCheckBoys.com. Lauren, what do you want for Christmas? Please get me salt and pepper merch from barcheckboys.com. So as you can see, everyone wants merch for Christmas. So go to barcheckboys.com for your merch. It's only available for the next week or so, and then uh, it will ship before Christmas for a great Christmas present. Oh, uh, yeah. Best Thanksgiving, what would it be? I mean, if you could have any type of Thanksgiving, what do you envision the best Thanksgiving? Um, The best Thanksgiving, I would imagine like a 20-foot table, like long table, with a bunch of different foods, not just Thanksgiving foods. I'm talking kind of like Talladega Nights. You got the KFC, you got the T-Bell, you got the turkey, you got the ham, you got the potatoes. You got like all types of different foods, right? And also I would choose like um, certain celebrities, dead or alive. Dead or alive? To, come to, and visit to be sitting at this long 20 foot table. So, so it's like the, the, the Last Supper. Kinda. But, but modern day last supper. Yeah. They obviously had the family there too. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So, so um, yeah guys, let us know what you guys think down in the comments. I wish you guys all a happy Thanksgiving. You know, and I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't like to feed off animals no matter what because they're all cute and cuddly. I mean, it bums me out. It's part of keeping reptiles, something I'm not always a fan of, but it's something that has to be done. But this is the first time I've ever fed pigs off and they're so darn cute. I really feel bad. So uh, it is a little bit hard. Listen, uh, it's just the way it has to go. And we're gonna see if Sunrise wants to try her first pig ever. Come on, girl, you wanna try to eat? You got it. You got it. There it is, she took it too. Who? it's been a success. I mean, these guys are loving the pigs. And again, they're really good nutritional. They've got a lot of body weight, a lot of protein, some fats in them. So it's gonna be a really good meal. And what else would you want on a day like Thanksgiving, right? But to give your animals all that they want.
Looks like Lucy isn't gonna take the pig. I mean, it's the third year in a row she disappointed me. Actually, we tried a really kind of bigger pig two years ago for Thanksgiving. She actually took the mouth and then she didn't eat it. She just spit it out almost immediately. Last year, of course, the turkey, that was a fail. This year, she didn't even wanna take the pig, so I guess she's just gonna be a rabbit eater from now on. And the truth is, is that that's what's interesting about snakes. Even though I fed her rabbits that are almost the size and she's crushed them, no problem. It's the smell. Oftentimes, snakes are just different. They like, oh, I don't like the smell smell of a pig and so I thought she might crawl up to it. She went ahead and went near water just like she has nothing to do with itself. No go there but Ivy on the other hand is crushing this pig. <laughs> well I'm thankful for Tim Hortons. <laughs> no. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you and thank you so much for being a part of our lives. <laughs> That's it. And even the animals down here in the basement in the dungeon at BHB get a little Thanksgiving. Come here, Al. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come this way, this way, this way, this way. Here, here we go. Oh, my goodness gracious, Al. He was hungry. <laughs> what the world? Oh, my. <laughs> what the world? There's no doubt that's it. The thing I'm the most thankful, the thing I'm the most thankful, oh my gosh. The thing I'm probably, at, one more. Oh my. The thing I'm the most thankful. <laughs> The thing I'm the most thankful for is being able to be with my family, friends, and all my crew. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and feed RJ, right? Yeah. We're gonna uh, let you guys watch it over on Noah's vlog. Link in the description, go subscribe, so on like that. How much pounds is this pig weight? It's about three pounds. Three pounds. Three pounds. Have we ever fed RJ something this big? This is the biggest meal he's ever eaten. So uh, let's just go ahead, I'm gonna feed him, and then you can watch the rest of the mayhem over on Noah's vlog. Let's do it. Never a dull moment, man. Never a dull moment. <laughs> We're now about two hours into Ivy eating, and this is very reminiscent of what happened with Lucy. Now, I really didn't think this was too big of a meal for her, but uh, she's kind of getting going, backing up a little bit, getting going, backing up a little bit. She just can't quite get over those shoulders, right? If she can get over those shoulders, she's gonna crush this thing out. But the same thing happened with Lucy last time, so uh, we may be in for a long day. Excited. She finally got over the hunches of the shoulder and now she is just crushing it. I mean, look at her move. I mean, that thing is ridiculous. Just in the last like five minutes, she went from barely having the shoulders to being almost halfway done. Uh, this is gonna put a good lump in her. She's gonna have a big meal. Oh my God, this is a happy Thanksgiving. Obviously, we're about to have our Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, I just want to, you know, just reminisce. I mean, it's great being with the family and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, really, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about pumpkin pie. Oh, yeah, yeah, you love pumpkin pie. Yeah, you, I love pumpkin pie, yeah. don't I, don't I? So yeah. the deal is, guys, legitimately, I think I've tried pumpkin pie once in my life, and I did not like it, but my family... He loves it. I do not love it. He loves it. Well, so, so <laughs> this is what I think before she says this. I think that we are in a Mandela effect because our whole family remembers him loving pumpkin pie, but he hates Eating it. a lot of it. I so, have never eaten a lot of Mandela pumpkin effect, pie. Because we no all way. remember it, but he How denies it. I would fight you I would remember. This I will is, remember. This is a lie. You every, would get the slice and then you go. Every part of our family remembers this, except you put for the him. cream. It doesn't matter. Eat We've it, given it up. Go take a nap, and then that get would be up, you. Get up, have another piece. Yeah. Guys, I think pumpkin pie is just disgusting, and my family. I don't know. The happy Thanksgiving. It's gonna suck. Yeah, I'm gonna call my mom right now. She hasn't had she Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving since Jade was a child. Like <laughs> you never like. Call mom. Just kidding. <laughs> She's not there. Okay, my mom's not there. I'm calling my sister. Hello? Hi, Cindy. I am so sorry to bug you. I'm sure you're working. I'm just in a little argument with my family. Do you ever remember me <laughs> eating pumpkin pie in your life? Do you ever remember me going like, I love pumpkin pie? No, no, no. I don't remember that. 
Well, Cindy, and you've I, been I gone a very long. Time. You've been <laughs> gone a very long time. And this is my sister. This is my sister. All right, Cindy. Thank you so much. I love you. Okay, okay love you. Bye. You I don't. Okay. That's Argument all. is done. I believe you. Yeah, I believe you. Thank you. Good. All right. Dropping the mic. And there it is, guys. She is done. On the look at the lump in her. Oh my gosh. But again, anacondas eat like this. Uh, I was a little nervous, not gonna lie. I was kind of freaking out a little bit because it took hours. I think from start to finish, we're at about four hours with this girl, but she definitely is gonna be set. I have a feeling she's gonna be doing that uh, Thanksgiving slumber for a few days. You know, probably won't get fed again for another probably three weeks or something like that. But uh, Ivy did great. I'm relieved. All right. It's done. Happy Thanksgiving. I truly am wishing all my American friends a Thanksgiving. And for you that aren't in America, I still wish you an absolutely incredible day. The animals got a feast today. I'm about to go get a feast right now. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you enjoyed this video, last year I tried to feed Lucy a turkey. You're going to want to hit that video for sure. Over here, just a playlist of feeding giant snakes. Hit that subscribe button for me, okay, if that's okay. Turn the post notifications on. Have a wonderful day. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you guys tomorrow.